Yes guys and welcome back to another formation video on the channel today I'm going to be talking to you about the 4-1-2-1-2 second formation post patch in FIFA 21 guys With custom tactics and player instructions Without further ado, let's get into the tactics So I actually have the 4 one 2 one second as my defensive preset Because the 4-3-1-2 is more attacking The 4 one 2 one second though has that CDM So you can defend with this formation as well So let's get into the tactics now so our defensive start is going to be left on balance, guys. Now, pressing with a narrow formation really doesn't work because with the 43 on the 4-3 on 2, the 4 on 20 second, if you're pressing down the opponents, all they have to do is chip a ball out wide and then the pressure's lost. So, using it on balance means you're not going to drain your players' energies for nothing. Our defensive width is going to be on 4, meaning our back line is very, very compact, making it difficult for them to throw a pass through us or cut a pass through us. With our defensive depth, guys, we will be on 7. High line again. We want to have more possession and we want to dominate the game. We want the player of the game to be with us. With our attacking style, we will be on fast build up. Now, you can actually use fast build up or long ball, or you can use balance. Everything except from possession, guys, is really up to you and your style of play. However, for me, what works best is the fast build up because you've got many central players. You can play quick tiki taka football for your CDM, to your centre mids, to your cam, to your strikers, and play very fast flying football. With our offensive width, guys, we are going to be on five again. We do not want our left, left centre mids and right centre mids or our left strikers and right strikers going any wider than they are. We do not want them to act as left mids, right mids, left wingers or right wingers because that will destroy the whole point in the formation. The formation is there to be very, very narrow. Our players in the box is going to be on 6 guys again. With the 4-3 on 2, I did use 7. With this on, we do use 6 because we still want to chuck a lot of men in that box. It basically means a maximum of 6 players can get in there. So that means you can get your strikers, your cam, your 2 centre mids. That's straight away 5 players, one of your CDMs or your CDM or one of your fullbacks guys. So it's attacking, we want to increase our chance of scoring. So we do use 6. Corners 3 guys because we do want to commit our tall men in that box and hopefully score that goal. And 3 kicks on 1 because we want to shoot on them. Like I said, guys, the 4 1 2 2 second there, of course, is two variations to this. However, you do want to stick to the second variation because the 4 1 2 1 2 first is very, very unstable. You've only got two central midfielders, and yeah, it's not very good. So, we do stick to the second one. Now, let's head on to the instructions. So, our strikers are going to be on stay central and get in behind with basic defensive support. So, if any of our players go out of position, like our cam, our centre mids, our strikers can drop into them positions and help out in defence. Our cam is going to on stay forward and get into box across now. So like I said with our tactics, we did use fast build up on our attacking star. Our strikers and our cam on these instructions matches that perfectly because if our strikers are running in behind, we are enabled to play that ball along the floor, that fast build up ball along the floor to our strikers who are making runs in behind and hopefully get at that one on one situation. With our cam though, we do use stay forward and get into box across, acting as a third striker, getting another man in that box and increasing our chance of scoring. CDM, cut passing lanes, cover centre and drop between defenders. Now, this is the best way to go, drop between defenders. However, if you want to go a slight bit more attacking, then you stay back while attacking. But for me, it's less riskier, use drop between defenders. You have a five at the back, which is extremely difficult to play against when they're in attack. Fullbacks, stay back while attacking, stay back while attacking. Box to box centre midfielders. You want to leave everything on default except for a defensive position in which you use cover centre. Again, we're going to go narrow. The only wide people on this team are our fullbacks. Now, centre halves are going to be on conservative interceptions. If your centre halves go too aggressive, then they're going to rush out of position, which means their strikers or wingers can run in behind us and play a ball for us, guys. So, leave your centre halves on conservative so they stay in their positions and don't run out. Goalkeeper comes crosses and sweeper keeper guys aggressive like the rest of the team catching that ball and punching that ball out on corners or free kicks So that is going to be the video guys on the 4 one 2 2 second formation Please make sure to like and subscribe if these tactics do work for you Anyway, have a great day. Have a great week and goodbye